Hey boys and girls, today in math, we're gonna be talking about just using our basic strategies to solve multiplication problems. We're gonna start off with our video and we're gonna be on page 94 in your math book so you can follow along. You also might want to take this page out, remember from a couple of weeks back, your strategies page. So today we're just working on using different strategies to solve multiplication problems. And today we are gonna have two lessons. So after this and you complete your work, you will have another lesson, all right? So let's get started. How do you use strategies to multiply? Think about this question during the lesson. Justin and Dolores made a dragon float for a parade. They connected nine equal sections to make the dragon's body. What is the total length of the dragon's body in feet? Choose an operation to help you find the length of the dragon's body. The dragon's body is made of equal sections, so you can multiply to find its length. You can multiply to combine nine equal groups of three. One way is to draw a picture to find nine times three. Nine times three means nine groups of three. Combine the groups to find the product. The dragon's body is 27 feet long. How does the bar diagram show the multiplication problem? It shows that there are nine groups and three in each group. What is another way to find nine times three? You can use known facts to find nine times three. Use fours facts and fives facts to help. Think of nine times three as an array. So when he said use fours facts and five facts, where did those numbers come from? they split apart the nine into four plus five. That distributive property. You can break up nine times three into four times three and five times three. Four times three equals 12 and five times three equals 15. 12 plus 15 equals 27. The dragon's body is 27 feet long. Why do you need to add the products to find the total? You add the products because each product shows one part of the array that has been broken apart. Now you know how to use strategies to multiply. So there's lo we've been working on lots of different strategies and those are just a few examples of how we can use strategies to multiply. So let's take out our page 95. Okay. All right. And we're going to start up at the top. Let's start, we'll just skip those. Let's start on number three and it is using different strategies, okay? So some of you know your facts, some of you don't know your facts, some of you are going to use your strategy page, some of you might just draw pictures. It's what works for you. So if I say three times seven, I know that means three groups and seven in each group, right? So then I would add my seven plus seven plus seven, because remember multiplication is repeated addition. So I know seven plus seven is 14, and I know 14 plus seven is 21. Six times five. Well, I know anything times five ends in a zero or a five, and then I can skip count by five, six times. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Six times five is 30. Nine times four. 
Well, I could say nine groups of four, that's a lot of groups. I could flip flop it around and say four times nine. So then it would be four groups of nine. Nine, 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 nine. Because remember that commutative property tells me we can flip our factors. Okay, so then I can do nine plus nine is 18. And then nine plus nine is 18. I can do it that way. And 18 plus 18, if I don't have enough space there, I can just write it over here and add it. Eight plus eight is six, one, one, one is 36. I can also do my nine strict, do you remember that? Nine times four, one, two, three, four, three tens, six ones, okay? Three times zero, anything times zero is zero because it means it's zero times. One times seven, anything times one, it's the other number because it means one time. And 10 times eight, anything times 10, you just take the other factor and add a zero. Look how quick and good we are getting at multiplication. <clears throat> okay. You're going to finish the rest of the page. That's problems nine through 25. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not because you can use your strategies and some of them are so easy. Anything times two is a double. Anything times one is the other factor. Anything times 10, you add a zero to the other factor. Anything times zero is zero. So that should be pretty easy. Make sure you get it checked. And if you want to go back, you've got your strategy chart that was on a few weeks ago that you should have printed or written in your math journal to help. And then make sure on the back circle, 26 and 28 are the discussion posts today, not the two at the bottom. I want you to do 26 and 28 and 26, I don't need you to explain. You can just type in your math problem and the answer. And 28, you can just type in your equation and the answer, okay? So make sure you get it checked because you don't want to start learning these facts incorrectly, all right? So front, finish, check. These two, these two problems for your discussion post. And then remember, you're gonna have another lesson after this. We're gonna talk about the associative property again. So make sure you come back after your discussion post, or you can do both and do your discussion post later, however you choose, but make sure you come back to watch for associated property.